there. Sirs here. It's been a long time since I last craft. Let's see, it's like two months since my last craft. And my last project was the La Fee and Rose writing journal for my babysitter. It's been very, very crazy for me. And the last trimester pregnancy wasn't really easy for me. I just didn't have a lot of energy to do anything. And now my life has been full with taking care of a newborn, which right now he's like six weeks old and two toddlers. But anyway, I'm in a deep crafting of crafting and I just made last minute decision that I need to make something really quick for my preschool teachers, my toddlers preschool, of course. And so I decided to make this uh, altar composition book for their for the teachers Valentine gift. Each of these books is that is not really long to make, but you know I've been like busy with kids, so it took me more than a week to complete this book. And what I did is very simple: just cover the front page and make a pocket behind the front front cover and on the back I just keep it really simple and that's it but it took me for more than a week anyways for all of these projects I use antique peppery digital pepper I use like the the bird here is also using hers the pep wood here as well I only use other digital pepper for the words that I use in, to decorate the the pocket behind the front cover and for the spine I use a fabric that I got from local nonprofit organization that rescue designer fabric wallpaper tile and I don't remember what else and they res rescue all of this material that other otherwise will go to landfill for creative use and this is what I use for the spine so the fabric that I use looks like this and I cut it into size and length, uh, lengthwise into half and then use it to cover the, the spine. This non-profit organization, fab, uh, organization is really really nice because they have a lot of like, cool fabric like the one I have here prepared to show you like this. Look at this. I got this for free. Isn't it really cute? I have no idea what I'm going to use this yet, but when I saw it, just like, oh, I want it. So that's why I have this. Hmm. This might be nice to put in the, the children project. And this is another fabric. So all of these fabrics are upholstery fabric upholstery fabric sample I should say that and look at this it's like isn't it like very very pretty and very interesting it's kind of like metallic looking they also all like this which I think would be nice for a journal cover and also they have fabric sample uh, not fabric they have leather samples like this one it's like uh, this one is polyester polyester not a thick leather yeah, I don't have like the real fabric one, but sometimes they have like small real fabric samples. It's really nice. And this one is like a jeans looking. Anyways, this, if you are in Bay Area, you should check this organization. If not, well, maybe one, one of the, in the future, I will, I should put a giveaway for these fabrics that I get from the Fab Mom. It will not be in the near future because I'm crazy busy these times. It will be like in a couple months in the future, of course. And I will post a video about it. Just let me know if anyone are interested for the fabric giveaway. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do international because the shipping cost is crazy. But I'm op open to that option as well in the, fut in the future. Anyways, so let's back to the project. Like I said, I've used the Antique pe Peppery pe uh, Digital Pepper. And I keep it very, very simple. I don't put any laces or any emb bulky embellishment in the inside of the book pages. And I even like use 
the scraps from the digital paper that I used to cover the, the front to decorate the inside pages like this one here and if even in the if not to cover the writing space I just wanted to make sure that the teacher has as much as space as possible to write so for the big scraps that I have sometimes I use it in that on the top border here I mean maybe it's you can write a title for this section and if I have like another big scraps with the um, right things on sometimes I also put it inside of this tab here or here so yeah it's like very very simple but it's just such a big impact just wrap wrapping the composition book with a pretty digital paper and you can see it here it's just like it just look like boring plain and even like ugly once I put the digital pretty digital paper it's just like looks so pretty looks so personalized and actually I could have put laces around this bird just make it even more prettier but I don't really have time I just want to make this fast uh, well it's not really fast for me because it still took me like more than a week to make this all of these six books yeah every single book here they are like look similar like very simple using bird on the front cover to decorate and a quote and also use another roses ATC from Sherry's uh, collection as well and then like a front pocket and right now I just put happy valentine for the teacher just a piece of paper I would love to put the card but I don't have time to do to, to make it and this one as well and some of this fabric originally I just fold in half and cut it and it didn't make a really clean cut or straight line but I don't really mind it's just the imperfection is the one that makes this looks like it's a handmade and yeah look at this all of this sherry's paper they are so pretty just I really don't have to do much because the paper already talked to itself and just give a lot of like interest to the book and while making up this process thinking that wow this is such a nice project and easy and just make the comp otherwise plain and ugly composition book look so pretty and I decided that in the future when my kids go to school I, I might as well alter all of their comp all of their notebooks do something pretty and when they are small I will just use a cute maybe frozen because they are not into frozen or whatever they are into cartoon or character in the future and then as they grow up I will just change into their interest flowers theme park or whatever so anyways this is my quick project for my kids preschool teachers Valentine gift I just want to let you know that I'm still here I don't really have time to craft but I will try to occasionally pop some real quick project like this thank you everyone every ladies for watching happy crafting bye